Hello everyone, how are you all going today? I saw in the bar cam that there were some guys here and some birds in the water diving and I couldn't quite see if they're catching any fish or not So I was at home editing part 2 of this video and I thought I'll come down here and maybe even film the intro for that video for you guys as you know part one was an epic epic day well the second day was anyway we caught no fish the first day very sad and then the second day came out here and just got my nice eight fish in 20 minutes and it was like an awesome day catching a lot of fish one after another was heaps of fun doesn't always happen that way but one after the other lost about four or three or four and then just had an absolute ball hauling those kahoi in from this exactly the same spot where we are now so this video is just on some ways that you can actually cook your kahawai up. The first meal I did, I fried up uh, two kahawai fillets the same night as I caught those fish. You just fry those up in butter, a bit of seasoning, and I'll just show you that guys, I'll just show you guys that video now. So here we have it. Here is the tasty fried kahawai in butter video.
Right, so I'm still here having a few more spins. Haven't got any nibbles, no fish yet. So I might as well introduce you to the next video. This is where I'm smoking up five delicious kahawai on the Weber using hickory and manuka as the wood smoking woods. So here is that clip for you guys now. Enjoy this one. I hope this one makes you guys hungry. Check it out. Some Samba hickory chips. One of my favourite ones to use with a bit of manuka I'm going to put there as well. Kahawa here. What I'm going to do here, as you guys probably seen in my previous videos, these were washed in the seawater yesterday. And I'm just going to pat dry them with a paper towel. Just going to pat dry them. Try and get some of the moisture off the top of the fish. Do this in two lots, the three fish in first time, and do the second two fish in the last time. I won't fit all, won't fit all five in there. Yep, so that's it. And also the kahawai heads, I'm going to salt up as well. We're going to put those in too. So that's our mission for today. All right, guys. So our charcoal is nice and hot now. So I'm going to put them to one side as I normally do. Fish, they'll fit three in there quite easily. Fish row in as well. Fish on the side, one up here. A few pieces of chips. Just make sure you try and drain the water off them. A few chips. What is in there? One goes the lid. Three fish gone in and probably be 45 minutes. I'll check it anyway but it's around 45 minutes and once the, the uh, wood chips stop smoking then I add some more in. So we sort of get a continuous smoke, as you guys know. If you watch my videos, basically always the same. Just keep adding your wood chips, keep adding your wood. That's been probably 20 minutes so far. Gotta keep that smoke going in there. Some nice colour on that fish. Oh, look at that, it's just falling off. Those livers. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna eat that, I think. Mmm, all the way here. Mmm. Look at that. Beautiful. Mmm. A bit of heat coming out of there. Check that head. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Get it out of the head. Oh, that little piece. Mmm. Juices on the air. Here we 
Let's go. Beautiful. It's for shit. I'll put it over there. Let's have a look at that. I've used a bit more manuka on here then. It looks quite nice. That's a nice couple of scales on there. Let's have a look underneath there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm. That out, wrap up in tin foil, and we're going to drop it off onto my father to do. I'll make the accountant so they're going to enjoy, they are going to enjoy eating this fish, especially when it's just come out of the smoker. So, there's our last two kahoi out of the weather. So, I'm going to give my mate this one. We've got some in here packed up. Got him a little bag of white bait for him as well. Frozen white bait. That's for my father and for my mate, the accountant. So I'll wrap up this one for him, cover that up, and out of here. And here is the third cooking method that I used to cook up these fish, and that was making a very delicious tasty raw fish so here is this video hope this makes you guys hungry check that one out it was bloody tasty as So first into the bowl I'm going to add the fish. Then I'm going to add, and then I'm pretty nervous about this, I uh, never done that before. There might be enough there of the coconut milk. We're adding the cucumber. Nice cucumber. Yeah, I'm just, you know, so used to do my lemons, uh, doing the lemon in the fish first. But I'm keen to try this one out. We're adding our tomato. The magic of a camera, everything's already cut up. Our capsicum or bell peppers, as they call it, over in the States. Add some salt. It needs a lot of salt in your raw fish. some pepper uh, a few chili flakes in there because give a bit of a bit of a bite to it I'm just gonna mix that up I might have to add some more coconut milk coconut cream to it that looks alright so far oh yeah Quite nice. You know, I can almost eat that right now. Mm. Yeah, I'll then I'll add the rest of the coconut cream to that. Add it all in. Not as good as the full cream, but since I'm on a bit of diet. As you guys can tell, our seafood diet, 
mostly seafood from the sea and not from sea water I eat and then eat it. And lastly, I'm going to add this lime juice to it. I think lime juice is nice in a raw fish. And I think that is going to come out pretty tasty. Mm, I love eating limes. Right. Give that a nice little mix up there. Oh yeah. Looks quite nice, don't you think? So we get all that juices all soaking in there. I'm going to have a bit of a taste test so you guys know that I can't let people eat food that I make and they get sick from it so I've got to have a bit of a taste so uh, it's probably not quite ready mmm fish on there as well look at that nice and colourful It's actually really nice. Mmm. Yeah, much better, I think, that way. Mm. It's nice. Mmm. It's way better like that. See, beautiful. Mm. A mixture, and then we'll have a more taste test if I put it in the fridge. Oh, yeah, look at that. See. Nice of them, don't want to stop eating it now. Yeah, oh, excuse me, that is delicious. That is really nice. Right, so the next one this is the fourth cooking method that I used when I smoke up a kahoi. If I've got any spare left over, or not even any spare, I'll either make up a beautiful tasty smoked fish pie with potato on top with grated cheese and some tomato. But this time I made up some really nice tasty smoked fish and potato rissoles. So if you guys are looking for any particular way of utilising smoked fish, this is a great way to have leftover smoked kahawai. And check that video out. These were blooming tasty too. I do it this way, I sort of add the smoked fish Fry the onions up, get mashed potato and smoked cover oil. It's going to be quite tasty.
Ooh, look at that. I've been just about finished editing that epic video. So you're getting really hungry looking at all those close-up shots. Now I know how you guys feel watching my cook-up videos. The camera gets it nice and close, man, I'm starving. So I'm going to finish this video off. I'm going to eat these and hopefully get this video uploaded soon. I'd like to say thank you all for watching. Thanks to all the subscribers, new subscribers and all you guys' comments. I appreciate them all, I read them all, and I do eventually get around to replying to you guys' comments. So thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it also inspires a lot of you to get out there and catch a feed for the family. And uh, it's just, when you come up with some epic cook-ups like this, that's what it's all about in the end. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook as well. And that's where I post up a lot more stuff on there for you guys to watch. Some little snippet videos and a few other things that you won't get on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to uh, like my Facebook page, Wicked Digital Media NZ. And I'll see all you guys on the next video. Take it easy because, man, I'm hungry. I'm going to be chowing into these beautiful salami, cucumber, mayonnaise and chili and lime seasoning. So take it easy and see you guys later. Bye.